It's Tom Cruise time, everybody. Tom yeah. is awesome. I love him. I do actually. I think he is awesome. I don't, I don't love him like that, but he is awesome. I mean, Scientology aside, I mean, if he was not a Scientologist, I don't think there would be anything really to not like about him, broadly speaking. Yeah, um, I think that, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to address the Scientology issue either because he's obviously out of his mind, but, but that's beside the point. Mm. Uh, I think that it's admirable that for a guy his age, he's gotten into his head that he wants to be this action hero and he still, he still actually wants to be the action hero himself mm. and not just like it, the moments the character starts running, there's a, there's an extra running. Uh, like he wants to do everything by himself. No, that's I, I the think thing that, uh, I mean, is, has there, uh, because he's starting to reach this level of sort of like a bust uh, Keaton-esque. Jackie sort Chan. Of, yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think Jackie Chan was far more accomplished in, in terms of his physicality. Mm. I, I think that he's, just completely out of this world yeah but in terms of being marketable and in terms of acting ability and yeah. in terms of that kind of stuff obviously Cruz is better um, that said I do think that the problem with MI6 was that it's it's too much of the same that mm. uh, it feels like it's now it's just because Tom Cruise movies aren't, they're basically just Tom Cruise movies now. Yeah. It could be any, like when, when The Mummy came out, they said that it could be just, you know, named just like Mission Impossible, The Mummy. Yeah, or, sure. or something like that. There's, there's now he's just looking for different ways to show that he's able to do these crazy things. Yeah. Like gathering, you, you have to do something in a helicopter and then you have to do something in a plane, you have to do something on water and you have to do something climbing and stuff like that. It, it's just difficult locales where he's able to show what he's able to still do and then create some kind of really dynamic momentum in the film. And that's, that's, but that's the really funny thing when you think about it, because, he, okay, The Mummy was truly I have seen not it. a great movie. <laughs> but um, when, you, when you think about The Mission Impossible, six um, and constructing a movie around stunts, basically. Yeah. And it's something that I think maybe Jackie Chan did it. Sort he, did, of. he did it a lot. Yeah. He did it a lot. I think that there's a lot of, there's a lot of Jackie Chan Mm. in in those movies it's just that Jackie Chan was he, he was an acrobat yeah. and Cruz is just the guy who's in great shape yeah. and has an amazing stunt People working with him yeah. but Jackie Chan was basically I mean he led his own stunt mm. team sure um, but yeah yeah I think that yeah it, it is a collection of stunts yeah basically that's true and it's cunning stunts <laughs> <laughs> yes, marvelous stunts. Yeah, but it's it's uh, it was it was an entertaining movie. Yeah, yeah. I think the the problems I had with it was that I felt that the, this was it was just it was just too much of the same. I don't have that kind of love affair with Tom Cruise. I think that he's 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 affable. He's likable. He's not a bad actor, uh, and he's done some really good roles, like in Magnolia, mm. I really like him. Respect the cock. I mean, he, I like him in Tropic Thunder. Mm. And when he makes fun of himself, he's usually, usually, he's usually, I think, the best that he is. But yeah. when he's doing that all-American good guy mm. hero thing, then, yeah. Um, but I think that um, I think that I, I was actually disappointed because at some point Cruz is going to be too old for mm. Mission Impossible movies. This was supposed to be his last one, and now there's apparently an option to do one more. Rumbling, so a few more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but I was I, I actually really liked um, although I was like I like I said last year it, it, it the whole movie I was staring at the fucking mustache mm. but I thought that uh, Henry Cavill was really good yeah, I think he was. He, he was an interesting character and I I was sort of disappointed although you knew from the trailer mm. that he's going to be the bad guy I was disappointed I think that it would have been more interesting to have him uh, at least survive mm. I think he was a good addition yeah. to the to the movie um, I think he was pretty much the best addition to the movie overall. I think that Simon Pegg's getting a bit yeah. tiresome in the role. I think being Rams has been tiresome in the role for a long time. Mm. It just it just didn't... The, the problem was that it didn't grab me because an action movie is supposed to sort of take you along for mm. the ride. Like, for, for example, for me... One of the best action movies still of all time is Die Hard. Mm. And with Die Hard, it was the first time I saw it. I was just, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen yeah. because it was so effectively done. And, and you, you, were, you were with that guy doing that thing. And, and I think that's that that's, that's one of yeah. the reasons as well, because, because in the beginning before before Bruce Willis lost his mind in, mm. in, in Die Hard, he's still just a guy who gets hurt. Mm. And with Cruz, it's a problem because he doesn't really. You're not going to see a Mission Impossible movie where Cruz dies in the end. No. Um, or at least if, if he's going to die in the end, then there's going to be, it, it's going to be a big deal made out of it. Mm. It's just not, you know, a stray bullet <laughs> catches him in no. the eye or something like that. That's that's never going to happen. And um, that's, that's probably the problem with it because um, the Die Hard ex example was really good because um, action movies do have to take you on a journey that you sort of are, if possible, really interested in. And the Mission know. Impossible movies are not that kind of movies really they're yeah. so they're entertaining they're this they're these nice fluffy things with cool stunts but that's about it then yeah yeah i i, I don't i'm not a huge fan of the mission i like the first one because mm. i'm i'm a I, I was a when i was a kid i was a fan of the series mm. and and the movies have got nothing to do with the series mm. because the series was about people conning other people and doing these really elaborate schemes and so on. And, and I think that cr the crew's I I Mission Impossible movies just took bits of that, like, like uh, the, for example, the, the, the masks mm. and maybe something like that. But mm. the, then after that, it's just basically crews running. True. Uh, and that's just, it's just not as interesting for me. But the first Mission Impossible movie, I think had more of that. There was more of that kind of um, scheming and, and conning and stuff like that maybe a bit more I it think was they're still trying to do it sort of when you think about that the last movie with the, with the, um, um, Henry Cavill's character being this this double agent yeah. sort of thing and there's this they tr still try to keep that element but it just doesn't work as well yeah and it's 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 so much more diminished yeah. there's not this i mean and 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 another thing that was really important in the in the i think it was still important in the first movie and i think it was important really important in the series was that they they worked as a team mm. it wasn't just ethan hunt no because in that in these movies, the Mission Impossible team is pretty much just guys who say like the funny lines, mm. and and they get into trouble, and then Ethan bails them out, or maybe sometimes the other way around. But it's 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 mostly just the Tom Cruise show. It is, and I think that that's for me as well. That's less interesting than actually a. a, a team working like clockwork mm. kind of thing yeah um because in in the in the series the mission impossible was really they were sort of impossible things they were so contrived mm. all the plots were so contrived and there was this really weird and and, and 
difficult things that they had to mm. do, but they executed them to perfection and everybody was sort of stumped at the end. In this, it's mostly that everything goes to hell mm. and then at the last moment, Ethan Hunt has to improvise something to get get out of the whole situation. Yeah, basically. I think yeah. they tried to make fun of that fact in the in a previous movie. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, that's... That was my impression of it. It was a, it was a, I think it was a typical summer blockbuster. Yeah. Was, but, uh, but, uh, but, I've seen worse. Mm, nothing special, really. Yeah. The stunts for me, I mean, for me, the meta level of having a, what is he, fifty-five, yeah, year old guy jumping from eight and a half kilometers, or learning to fly a helicopter. Yeah. for a movie. I mean, it's so crazy that um, that aspect fascinates me. Yeah. What, what is driving that dude to do all this? Zenu. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, um, so my final word on it is, is that it's um, it's spectacle that's partly forgettable. It's crews being crews running, uh, doing all sorts of different cool stunts in different settings. Um, if I had, if I had to put my money on on the probably the three most important movie agents in the world, which would be probably like James Bond, Jason Bourne, mm. and Ethan Hunt, mm. Hunt's losing out for me. But that's you know mm. that's a personal thing. I actually agree. I mean, the only thing that keeps me interested is the escalating madness slash genius of Tom Cruise yeah. unfolding in real time. So that keeps me interested in what he's doing, basically. Yeah.